What is up everyone? I figured for right now is a good time to start the next vlog. So uh, day three of drift week, we're here. Uh, today is our first travel day, so we have to drive about three hours to the next track. I started going the highway and uh, the wheels are so bent and unbalanced up front, it was like undrivable above 60 miles per hour. So we stopped down here, boys gave it a quick balance and uh, now the wheel should be good. Best $26 I've ever spent. Let's get them on and we'll talk more about the next uh, couple days. All right, so it's day three here of Drift Week. We uh, spent another day at Cam Takers yesterday. I didn't film it. Just enjoyed myself. It was wonderful. Minimal damages. I already had this dent, but my side skirt's a little falling off and I ripped my bumper off, which is typical Z fashion. See, here's the thing. Me and Dave were doing some pretty awesome tandems. It's great fun. He pushed me off track. I hit a tire. Pushed him off track. For two days of drifting, that's very minimal. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. So in the first video you guys saw, it's very angle limited, right? I talked about it a lot because I put these rack limiters in my car because my caliper's ready my strut. I put way too big of a limiter in it, but I said, you know what? Let me try and drive through it. It'll help me learn the chassis better to be driving on the limit of it, blah, blah. It makes sense, right? So towards the end of the day, I let James Dean drive my car and... Uh, when James Dean spins in your car, you know you need more angle. <laughs> <laughs> so we realized very quickly I didn't have enough angle. Um, I was driving at the very limit of angle literally the entire time. And I'm, I'm very proud of myself on how I was driving like that. Very proud of myself. But you were, you were limited a little bit by being able to do what you wanted to do. Exactly. You were doing what it could do. Exactly. And then when you changed it, the car looked totally different on track as well. So good. So at the towards the end of the day, I uh, basically took the limiters out, cut them in half so I had even more angle. And we went out, did like four amazing runs together. And yeah, we finished the whole car makers experience very nicely. Very nice. So today uh, is a travel day. We have a day off to kind of get to the next track, which is called Hallett, or it's in Hallett, Oklahoma. It's supposed to be a road course, uh, so it's supposed to be very fast, which I'm very curious to see how these things will hold up. Because also since they're so freaking gripped up, um, but I love fast drifting. I'm a little worried on this one because I think to make these work on a very fast track, you need to be very brave. Yeah. And I don't know how brave we are, but we're going to find out. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. There's not many. I don't think you're there's many walls there. I am. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking very fast, very grippy tires. You're going to have to absolutely chuck it in. Yeah. But it's another challenge because that's a very tight track. Yeah. And then you go this to a very opposite. Ap opposite track very fast. Yeah. The Z is good to go, I think. The, thank God the boys put a radio in it for me before we left because I definitely need that. So let's hit the road and uh, go from there. I knew my Irish boys were feeling a little homesick, so we decided to go to a proper Irish bar in Oklahoma. Yes, let's go and see how stereotypical this will be. The music's already getting Yeah, the to music, me. the flags, everything is like a yeah, proper, proper racism. <laughs> this is Aaron. So Aaron wanted to schedule a couple like meetups so everyone can hang out together and whatnot. And this was one of the stops, so I, I see him for it. This is, he said it was for us and James Dean. I'm not sure who it's for. <laughs> <laughs> I want your Guinness review here, so let's go figure it out. Let's, let's bask in the Irishness for a moment. This, this is all very authentic. Pretty much we wouldn't have it It's not bad. It's quite Irish, to be fair. <laughs> We've done a good job. No people under 21, that's not very Irish. It's probably 14 year olds having pints in Ireland in the pub, so. Irish, you're not a what was that, Wayne? Definitely Irish, you're not a <laughs> 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 Still pints down here at the bar. Put that into every vlog. What was that, Wayne? Yeah, yeah, if the bartender can't understand you, then it's not. It's, it's not authentic. It's not authentic. Wayne could just say one word and a whole four orders would come out in Ireland, so they gotta test them up. <laughs> it's, it's dark, just like I think everything in, in Ireland, so. Dark, miserable, a lot of, lot of pain and suffering has been had by the people within. It's good, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels at home, right? Feels at home. <laughs> So I think the foam level, that's that's good, right? That's a thing. Add into the true Guinness. It shouldn't be overflowing like that. It's been sitting there a while, but it's more about the taste. There's another thing you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take one sip 
and split it perfectly, like the type of level I supposed to finish there. Don't really usually do it, but we'll give it a go. Uh, give it a go, give it a go. Oh, close. It's actually not bad. There you have it. There you have it. Oklahoma. They know how to do it. The home, the home again. This Irish place around. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm not that Irish yet. It's acquired. It's acquired. It's acquired. It's acquired. It takes time. A couple more trips to Ireland and I'll be able to <laughs> be able to hang. <laughs> So I made a point in the last video how all we have around here is like 91 octane fuel uh, and then I got a lot of comments like no we have 93 everywhere in Texas. Uh, Texas is really really big. Uh, where we are and I guess we're in Oklahoma I still keep saying it's Texas but uh, where where we will be uh, it's only been 91. I haven't seen anything higher than 91 and we filled up a lot. So <laughs> Once we get in the Houston area which will be for the second half of the trip I think there should be 93 out there. Okay for now we use Octane Booster. This is our Airbnb for the night. Right, I gotta show this view off before it gets too dark because it's pretty dark right now, but look at this. That's beautiful. You want bougie Airbnbs, so I got you bougie Airbnbs. Yeah? You want to? Yeah. I, I was good with a that corner of a hotel room. This Amer American. Yeah, the American. Mm. Our last hotel was American. What was that? It was like five deer. Just as I was coming over the crest, five deer just standing on the road and they just moved and then you came over. I was like, oh, you probably missed that. <laughs> we are in the woods now. This is beautiful. Somewhere in Oklahoma. That's where we are. I have no idea where I am, even on a map. I still, I keep saying I we're in even, Texas still. I couldn't even put Oklahoma on a map in America, so. <laughs> Probably most Americans couldn't either, so don't we're feel bad middle. about it. We're in the middle. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. It's nice though. It's beautiful. Wow. All right, well, after walking all around this man's yard, we found out it's the wrong house. So we just went to a random person's house, explained how beautiful it was, and then just drove out the gate again. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Well, at least at least no one's home. All right, well, hopefully this is the correct one. This is not low car friendly. Oh my god, there's a huge hole right there. Come on. Uh. Oh. Uh. I hope this is it cuz the lights are on at this one. That's terrifying. This is pretty. Just get inside. <laughs> Who closed the gate? I don't know what's happening. That was frightening. Something happened here. I can't see it. But that was inside. The gate was. The manual gate just closed itself, so that's fun. Look at this. Look at this little. Is, there a little, is it a veranda? A veranda? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I've never heard that term. It's so dark yeah. out. That is cool. What was that? <laughs> How far does this go and how committed are we oh, to Oh, quite it? committed. Shoppers ready! <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop. So loud. Let's see, somewhere in Oklahoma. What kind of deadly animals around here? Ah, fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> no, I was like, it was a fucking leaf and I thought it was... I, I was so pathetic. <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, look at this one, look at this one. Right. Oh yeah, this is definitely all a lot of rocks. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. We wake up super early and uh, we head to Hallett Raceway, something like that, right? Fast track or slow, let's go. <laughs> Fast track or <laughs> slow, let's go. I love that. I think we'll hold our own pretty good, but I don't know what it is. We're, I'm on Valino tires for the very first time, and they are the grippiest thing. I can't even, the poor car. All right, so it's 7.30 in the morning, and we can finally see what our view looks like, and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Let's check it out. Beautiful spot. All right. 
let's hit the track. We're here. This course looks fast. I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm screwed. You four nine div. I'm gonna be top of fifth. I mean, man, dude, hey. driving down the highway. Just, go fast. Just go, fast. Just go fast. So it's supposed to rain, which might help. Might help, or might make it worse because now no, no, when no. you fuck up, you fuck up twice as bad. Wet grass. Wet grass. Nope. No, you'll be going through it. For like, okay, so these Valino tires that I got for the Z, they are the grippiest things. I have to <laughs> abuse this car to keep it sideways. I was suggested these tires. Kind of wish I didn't get something so aggressive. We'll see. We'll see. If I can get... I don't know what to expect out of this car today, but I'm going to have fun drive really fast and hopefully not in the rain. It'll be mint. But uh, we'll find out. So let's get the car ready. Get to go for on and give it a shot. We're going to do a sight lap first because this is not a course that you just send it on. A couple of guys already came back and <laughs> I think every guy has gone off track at least once so far. Right, we're not allowed to drift this? No. Okay. So we're not allowed to drift this corner. And then foot to the floor here. You go as yep. fast as you can. And you can see where people are initiating. Yeah, people are doing a feint right yeah, here. here. I don't even know what this corner is, so I'm not going to try. Yeah, no. And just, then it's, it's a big... Fine. Okay, it's a... It, it tightens up. That's good. Yeah. That would suck to go off right there. That's where people have gone off there. Then you come around here. Keeps hooking right. Wow, yeah. all these corners are blind. Yeah, everything's blind. Everything's blind. That's sick. The track's a little bumpy. Yeah. And then this is a little manji. Yeah, you here. And then this is a... And then you I come, can see this one. Yeah. Damn, this thing's so gripped up. What the fuck? Come through here. No drifting here. Straight, straight. As yeah. fast as you can. And then we reinitiate all the way up there. Don't show us. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. So reinitiate here. Jesus. Fourth, Jim. Fourth, I you guess so. And then there's like a little... This is where everyone keeps going. Look at how many yeah. people went off right there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Man, I have 60 PSI cold in these tires. Yeah. My fourth? I yeah, hope I can hold it, dude. Go, go, go. How the hell am I supposed go. to get up that hill? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Put the floor. Fourth? The floor. It's to the floor. Yeah, there you go. Put the floor. Yeah. I posted footed it. I'm yeah. too, I gotta ease into it. I don't wanna go flying <laughs> off track. We're gonna try third on the first corner. It gets tight at the first corner. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try it right. Damn, all right. That might be fourth too. Oh man, I'm bat winging. Dude, once they come off once, they never stay on again. Hey, once they come off, they're never the same. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's okay. Whatever. It's she got the dimple butt. That, that's what high speed dirt will do for you. Yeah, no shit. I have all this angle now, and I have to just convince my body it's there because the whole last event I was basically driving with stock angle. So here we go, here we go. I'm not the only one 
that. Oh, that felt gross. Sorry, grass. All right, now here's the awkward one. Full sense. Come on, see, and then look for that cone, look for that cone. Got that cone? Nope, underdid it. that it's there and the track is skinny use those inside apexes and I'll be good everything's so blind you just have to trust yourself so much all right first corner trust it trust it send it send it send it oh boy stay in it stay in it hell yeah come on come on Z. come on don't do this to me this we got this don't transition too early but don't transition too late come on come on come on come on and transition come on make it make it ah, it counts it counts nice work Z. trust it trust it don't lift here we go here we go stay in it oh oh GoPro just died during the best lap so far of the day. Hopefully I can mimic that because it was like, I'm very proud of that lap. That was ridiculous. I can't hesitate. Like I literally can't get off throttle, recorrect and get back on throttle or else I don't have enough power. So I got to really use the whole track and hope I don't mess up. Straight for the Manji. Ready? Full throttle. Stay in full throttle. Oh, too much. Too much. Nice. Hey, it kept me going. It kept me going. Come on, T. Line, but it's working. Little thing. All right, this gets sharp quick. Don't want to go off here. Use all my angle, which is sick. Love that for me. All right, and then this corner, very intimidating, right? Because we're entering right now at 85 miles per hour. And the doesn't hate it. Where's that cone? Where's that cone? E-brake too early, e-brake too early. Come on, make it, make it, make it. It counts, but it was kind of a shit line. Oh, fuck. Ah, I finally did it. Everyone's done that so far. I'm not the only one. Ah, I was bound to do that eventually. Everyone's done it so far. There is no room for error on these damn tires. Oh my god, I gotta put 100 PSI in them or something. But uh, Dave's following me with the chase cam, so hopefully we can put together a good lead run for him. So uh, let's check out that footage right now. That, that 
was good. That was good. Alright. Let's hit the fate again. That was sick. Cause I thought they were slowing they were, they, down, they, but they did slow down a little bit. But they kept it sideways. Kept her going. This old bitch moving. <laughs> the fate on the Dude, uphill feels nuts. That's sick. I'm, I'm about that. That's what's up. <laughs> good car. Good car. Good car's good car. Good car. Good car. Alright, here comes the rain. Now it's raining. All right. Give us some room. It's kind of nerve-wracking to go full sand when it's raining, but it's still a little gripped up. Oh, no, it's loose. All right, so at this point I've done quite a few laps and I'm getting the hang of it. It's hard, right? Because the car is very gripped up with these tires and I know people say, why don't you just ungrip it more? And at this point I already have like 70 PSI in the tires. And at this point I would change mechanical grip in the chassis, which I don't want to touch because I really like where the chassis is at. It's just this track is fast, very fast, but it has been teaching me a lot. Really, really teaching me the limits of the chassis and how the chassis behaves under like harsh conditions, especially now that I actually have maximum angle on the car. Um, it feels like a completely different weapon and I feel so confident and I love it. Pretty proud of the boys. I think there's I think there's way less carnage from today than the last track. Everything's pretty good. JCX still good? Still good, still, man. We're still good. Still good. Yeah, we're rolling. It's good. I, I saw one blown up engine, but besides that, everyone's been doing pretty good. Did you guys break anything? Can you see that? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's either. what I just said. Yeah. I was like, I've never seen that before in my life. Do you want me to show this? I don't... That's good. Are you sure? Good, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just coming over trying to bust walls. Uh, no. I'm kind of mind blown right We're now. We're trying to yeah. figure out how that, how that did that. Was it drifting? Because like, in drift, I'm getting some gnarly wheel hops. Both sides? Or is it from towing? Because we have four racks, the trunk's full of tools. I think it's just going like this. Hold on, let me show them real quick. This is a G35 sedan. No. Way. Oh my god. So much. Have you ever seen that before? I've never seen that before. A chassis split in half. We have to drive this seven hours to it, the next track. It ain't going nowhere. It might just clunk a little bit. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> it's going to get worse? Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. I walk no over way. just to make a joke and I see this thing just torn. <laughs> Look, look at I this. see that. <laughs> Wonderful, because there's there's What's a huge right bolt that goes, or no, it's a stud that goes in right here. So it looks like it's like pulling down on it. What did you do? Why is this? I don't know, man. I don't know if it's like because yeah. it's an infinity and it's just I'd got say welded inferior. Calling it a day. No, no, no! Don't be coming at my Nissans like that. Um, yeah, right. This ain't no Nissan. It's got 50k spring raids. Well, that happened to I a kid with 22. Loaded. Really? Loaded yeah, what spring rates are those? Are those stock spring rates? I don't think so. I think so. Huh. Huh. 
I'm sorry we're laughing, but this is it's comical. Not it's an everyday not. thing. All right, I'm gonna stop walking around and see when people broke before I jinx somebody. That's crazy. They have like a, a tow hitch thing they installed that has a bunch of weight on it, so they think that that weird weight kind of twisted the chassis, which makes sense. I mean, it has four wheels hanging off the back of it. It's a lot of weight, so. Let's go try and find my side skirt. And I guess we hit the road. After many circles around the building, I, uh, or racetrack, uh, side skirt is unscathed. The mounting points, uh, there's a couple less, but there's still most of them. I was very scared about this one. And Dave, boo, boo, boo. I'm surprised. Front lip, one piece. I this, like, everyone like, knew, like, everyone was like, oh yeah, I saw that on track. I saw this for a long time. And I was like, <laughs> that ain't gonna survive. Oh, well it is. You got lucky. I did. You lost two body panels, and both of them are going back on the car, so. Love that, wash love that good. for me. You got this for me, right, Adam? Yeah. Yeah, you got that, yeah, yeah. Just for the record, side skirt is mint. Very happy about that. All right, day is completed. Track was sick, very proud of myself. That was awesome. Let's get back to the Airbnb, edit this up, and uh, tomorrow we have an eight hour drive. I have to drive this thing eight hours in one day. <laughs> Everything's great.